All right, guys, welcome back. I'm super excited. It is the day to put this motor back together after spinning a rod bearing pretty bad. <laughs> No. I was driving this thing all last year to the track, ran a 621 was the best one I did. I was actually just driving it around town here. May have been getting on it a little bit, but it ended up spinning the rod bearing and it sent flakes through the bottom of the oil pan. Well, look at all that copper in there. <laughs> look at it. That ain't any good. So I called up Texas Speed and I told them I wanted to make about 1500 horsepower. So they gave me a setup. It was Wiseco Pistons, Beautiful. A Lunati crank, so I wanted to get their Texas Speed crank, but they didn't have any in stock. I got ARP main studs, ARP head bolts. I did get end up getting Texas Speed rods. They are the Super IB rods. Said that this setup could be able to handle 1500 horsepower. And as you guys seen in another video, I ordered a Dix Performance H5 transmission for this thing. That is a 480E, has a trans brake, warranted for 1500 horsepower. I don't know if I'll make it to the beginning of this year because I don't know how much these turbos are going to be able to handle. They're just VS Racing CC7, CC2s. But I have a feeling by the end of this year, we're going to figure out the max power of those things to make. But anyway, let's get to building this thing. I'm going to set my crank in there. I'm gonna plastic gauge the main caps and make sure those are all within tolerance. By the end of this video, I'm gonna have this thing completely built. Rotating assembly in, heads on, intake on. So here we go. Got the crank sitting in there. I'm gonna put my main studs in, put the caps on there and plastic gauge it. Look right there, there's a small piece of plastic gauge. So we're gonna put this cap on there, check the thickness of that. So all you gotta do is check with this piece and hopefully it's in between 20 and 25,000. I don't even know where that's at. All right, so we're at exactly 20,000. So I think we're good to go. God damn. Hey, you're supposed to be here three hours ago. I'm right on time. Yeah, that makes sense. That's six, it's nine. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, crank is in there. It is all tightened down, and she spins like a dream. So we're gonna start putting these pistons together, get the rings gap, and start slapping them in there. All the pistons and rods are put together. Man, do they look amazing. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this little tool right here, and then the rings just go in there like that, and I'm assuming you just turn that and then file the rings down, and we'll get into that gap in the cylinder wall here, and then we'll start putting those pistons in there get all the pistons together for the most part i'm not gonna lie we did shave down two second rings too far so i had to order two of those so we've got the two ring kits we'll replace the ones that i gapped way too big so we're gonna put those on there well we're gonna gap them first the right way and then we're gonna put them on those two pistons that are missing i got the first one and the second one in so we're gonna get the rest other six in and then we're gonna put the cam in and the head All right, guys, we have the rotating assembly. Well, most of the rotating assembly in there. It is all torqued down and in there nice. Piston looking fancy in there. So we are gonna get this boomstick out. We're gonna lube it up first, in the words of Matthew Rogers. There's always time for lubrication. And then we're gonna stick it in there and uh, put my lifters in, throw these heads on. Oh yeah, brother. Boomstick is all lubricated wipe that stuff in we'll be ready to go all right guys the cam is in the lifters are in the lifter trays i guess what do you call those are in on both sides my head studs cleaned up the rp head studs so we're gonna put those on there get the head gases on Get a last look at these pistons because next time we see these, they're probably not gonna look the same. They'll be launching to the moon. <laughs> all right, guys, we got the heads on. The heads are torqued down. The brockers are torqued down. We got it all timed up. The oil pump is on, so I'm working on getting my covers together, putting the new seal in there. Gonna get the uh, front timing cover seal on, and then probably see if I can squeeze that rear cover in there. I need to clean out my oil pan. As you can see, my oil pan still has all of the metal shavings in from when the rod bearing spun. So I need to get that cleaned out in here. There, and this thing will be ready to rock. Well, that's gonna sum up putting the long block together. I'm gonna take this turbo stuff back off and then we're gonna work on setting this thing in the car, but that'll be for next week. So come back next week to see what I tear up. I'll see you later, guys. Oh, and you guys probably noticed that I'm posted on Sunday. So I'm gonna start posting every Sunday now instead of every Friday. 
Because it turns out more of you guys are on YouTube on Sunday, which makes sense. Working class, you gotta work Monday through Friday. And then you relax on Sunday, watch a little bit of YouTube. So every Sunday morning, about nine o'clock, there'll be a new video coming out.